fucking went on a bender last night. We got a video to do. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Uh, five more Come minutes. On. Fuck. I can't There's even five more minutes. Uh, fine, I'll do the video. Oh, God, don't say I didn't do anything for you. Oh, it was WrestleMania 7 reunion last night. Uh, then we watched a Bigfoot tractor trailer jam. Come on, man. Oh, hey guys. Oh shit, I better clean this off. Sorry. I'm Randy. I'm the resident warranty guy here at Angry Snowboarder, and I'm here to tell you what is covered and isn't covered under warranties. Um, some people don't understand these things, and we're gonna break it down for you in this video. Found my fast shades. It's a little bright in here in the studio today. <laughs> Got some Zima to take the edge off. <laughs> oh, that sock puppet piss. Never mind. We'll just, we'll not drink the Zima today. Anyways, I'm Randy. As you already know, I'm the warranty guy here at Angry Snowboarder. Got here a snowboard donated to us by the lovely photographer, Jordan Burns. And his tail is a little floppy floppy. Kind of like my dick right now. Viagra just doesn't last like it used to. The tail is clearly broken. That is not a manufacturer's warranty. That's an impact. What is a manufacturer's warranty on a snowboard? Well, it ranges from one to three years of a manufacturing defect. And those defects can be misdrilled inserts, a non-impact delamination between the top sheet, the base, and the sidewall. Bubbles forming underneath the top sheet. Those are all manufacturing defects. This is clearly an impact. As such, your manufacturing warranty does not fucking cover it. Oh, but I know what you're saying, Randy. I was just riding along and my tail just exploded. Yeah, go fuck yourself. JRA is the biggest cop out of how something broke in snowboarding and why it should be warrantied. No one has ever in the history of warranties just been riding along and their snowboard just catastrophically exploded. Well, maybe if they were riding a Gilson. This, you weren't riding along and this just snapped without you knowing it. You fucking knew this thing goddamn broke. So don't fucking lie to me, and don't lie to the companies. It's not cool. For those of you out there that have ever had to deal with warranty, it sucks. I know. You spend $500 and you break your snowboard getting too gnarly for your own good. I get too gnarly for my own good on a daily basis. <clears throat> God damn it, I gotta stop drinking that. That's fucking unicorn piss. So when it comes to deciding whether it's a manufacturing defect or your own fucking fault, you have to ask yourself a couple questions. Did anything I do result in this break? If you answered yes, then it's not a manufacturing defect. If you answered no, congratulations. Your shit wasn't built right. If you're a pussy, you'll probably never, ever, ever, ever encounter a warranty. But if you're like me and you're all that is man, you're gonna encounter a warranty. Now, when this happens, don't fire off a passive-aggressive email like some keyboard warrior. It's not going to get you anywhere. You want to hype the product. You want to say how in love you were with it, but you were so upset that it failed you. And that'll probably actually get you some sympathy. The other thing you can do is bribe them. I find that putting in a couple nippers of vodka and a couple cans of Red Bull goes a long way. Or taping a $20 bill to it. Either way. These guys that work in warranty, like me, are underpaid, which is why they drink hams and Zima. Ah, oh, Zima's so good. They need to bring it back full time. You might still get denied your warranty claim. Well, that's what happens when you get radical. So just so you understand this, manufacturing warranty means manufacturing defects. Something in the process of building it caused it to have a catastrophic failure. Now, if you're hitting a rail and you hook your nose and you blow your edge out, that is not a manufacturing defect. That's called you don't know how to fucking snowboard. So once again, I'm Randy and I'm about to go pass out because this hangover is kicking my ass. But if you got any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Because you never know when Randy's going to come back and drop some fucking wisdom on you. And for the rest of you people out there that like supporting Angry Snowboarder, check out the Patreon. 
We got some perks like stickers. Makes your snowboard go five miles per hour faster. Also adds some aerodynamics to it. 